Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel and in today's lesson we are going to be perspective matching this photo. So when do you use 3ds Max's feature of perspective match? Well, you usually use it when you have a photo and you don't have any further information like plans or any further information from the uh, architect. So for example, we have this image here that I created a while back. And for example, if we don't have any information and we want to add something into this image, uh, say a stool around this area or something, what we would need to do is we would need to match the perspective of this image inside of our viewport. So let's go into 3ds Max now and we are going to start perspective matching that photo. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into our perspective view and we are going to make that our primary view. Next thing what we are going to do is we are actually going to import this image into this viewport. So to do that we are going to go to views, viewport background, configure viewport background or alt B. Next, we are going to click on use environment background, going to um, use files, sorry, and we're going to click on files. We're going to search for the file that we need and we are going to say apply to active viewport. Okay. And now what we need to do is just set the uh, same size of this image for our render output. So we are going to go to show save frames and we're going to click F10, set this to custom and the size of this image is 4000 pixels by 2250. So when we render, we'll be rendering the same size. Now what we can do is we can go to the tool icon over here and we can click show vanishing lines. So these vanishing lines represent the different axes that you have in the bottom left hand corner over here. The red one is the horizontal perspective lines. Then you have the green one, which is the depth of the room, which is, yep, the depth of the room and the blue ones that are the vertical lines in the room. So it's super simple. All you need to do is start to align these things with the lines in your room. And we'll take these blue ones for the verticals and align them with the verticals in this image. Red one, which you're just going to align with the horizontals and I'm going to put that one here there we go and the last green one over here with the frame okay there we go now what we can do is we can just create a box to represent this table this table is probably around one meter one meter 20 squared so as we can see, that's too small at the moment. So we're going to have to zoom out of this. So we're going to say, let's just go one meter 20 by one meter 20 by a height of say, I don't know, 28 centimeters. Now what we need to do is we just need to zoom out of this a little bit and then we'll just pan and align the perspective correctly okay it's starting to look pretty good i'll just reduce that a little bit and the height also getting yeah that's almost looking good just pan it a little bit here this method is not a super precise method this method is used just to get the correct perspective inside of your image okay so that's looking pretty good and 
just to continue modeling this image you model it in the same manner as before so we would adjust this to more or less the same size as everything is in the photo okay uh, that's looking quite close we're just gonna eyeball it for for the moment okay there we go and you just continue doing the same process for all the elements in this image okay there we go and then just for one last one for the library at the back do the same process again to the height as, as you can see all the perspective is correct and if you wanted to add additional things into this image that is how you would do it so like I said before this is a quick and rough way to do it and I would only suggest using it if you really really don't have any other information um, available to you so if we go to f3 you can see that it's pretty well matched you can adjust the sizes of the stuff but this is the way you would do it so that's it for this lesson guys if you enjoyed the lesson please uh, subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye